Today we are going to be creating a very interesting effect which will be a cloth reveal text which is kind of trending right now. So let me just show you some example. So this is what we have. This is what I created in Maya. A simple text that you have on the ground and a simple cloth and then slowly the cloth kind of flies away and reveals the text. So you can also keep it from here as well if you want. You can simply cut it in After Effects and so on. Alright, so let's see how we can do this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a full floor, simple floor to just floral. I was about to say floral. Uh, anyway, so let's take this, extrude this, control D, extrude this, something like this. And I'm going to select this, hit bevel. You can also choose bevel from here and increase a segment. I'm not going to get into the modeling phase since it will just take too much of our time. Alright, so this is what we have, a simple backdrop just to start off with. And I'm going to take a simple text uh, which will be a simple single letter. You can choose multiple letters if you want. If you want, you can also take in something like Misty or something like this. I'm going to keep it to M. And the font size will be somewhere about 5 maybe. And uh, that should do it. And in the geometry, I'm going to... Extrusion distance will be somewhere about maybe like 1. Or maybe like 0.5 extrusion division to 1 bevel will be a bit more let me just increase some extrusion and enable bevel so I think I'm gonna go for a simpler bevel no division at all and yeah so I think this looks pretty good and let's change the font to something a bit more Alright, so this looks good, I guess. Yeah, let's go with this. So I think uh, we have some issues with the overall bevel and everything. We have some collisions going on. So I'm going to keep it to somewhere a bit more low, something like this. And uh, let's keep it somewhere. Alright, so I'm going to reduce the amount of extrusion depth because I think it has too much extrusion, the text. Apart from that, the rest looks pretty good. But so I'm, one thing I want to do is make sure that the object is perfectly aligned. So I'm going to hit D and V on my keyboard to align my uh, pivot point with the vertex. And from here, I'm going to hit X and simply snap it to the grid. So now it has perfectly aligned with the floor. All right. So there we go. So I've already created a camera here just so it's a bit more easier and faster for us to process. So you don't have to watch me create all those cameras and HDR. So I have one basic HDR as well for the lighting purpose and that's it. Alright, so if I show you my scene now, let's turn on our IPR. Alright, so this is what we have right now. I'm going to close this. Looks pretty good. And from here, I'm going to create my cloth. Let's take a simple plane. Let's drag it up. I think I've already covered a lot of uh, tutorial on cloth. So creating a cloth should be a bit more easier for you. Uh, but apart from that, I'm going to keep the division pretty low for this effect. But for the fine rendering, I highly suggest you turn up. I think I made somewhere about 100 and 100, basically 200 subdivisions. But for this effect, I'm going to keep this for the tutorial purpose. I'm going to keep it pretty low to about 30, just so it's a bit more easier for us to visualize. All right. So once uh, the whole modeling part and everything is done, we start creating our FX. So let's go to our FX menu. And from here, we have our backdrop, which is going to be our collider, which is not going to be moving. So I'm going to go to my end cloth and create a passive collider. Now, if I hit play, nothing will happen because it's a passive collider. And if I select my cloth here and hit create end cloth, it will start to fall because it's end cloth. And in end cloth, by default, you get a nucleus, which basically means having his own brain in a particle system. That means it has its own nucleus and its own gravity and fields and so on. Anyway, so the next thing is creating a passive rigid body, not passive collider for our text as well. So I'm going to hit passive collider and there you go. So if I hit play, we have nice little collision going on with our text and our cloth. All right, so as you can see, we have a bit more low subdivision going on, but uh, if you take a large amount of subdivision, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep it low for the tutorial purpose. Alright, so the next thing is if you want to change the cloth type, what you can do is you can simply go to the preset and you can choose heavy denim or maybe a silk or maybe a t-shirt, whatever. It totally depends on you. I'm going to keep it to default for now. Alright, so how do we create that uh, flying out effect? 
or it's really simple i'm gonna select my plane here i'm gonna go to fields and solver and select air all right let's move it out here so this is our air which is going to if you don't know what air does i've already covered a full video on all the fields and what they do so make sure you watch that if you don't know about fields all right so i'm going to increase the magnitude just to showcase how this field work and it's a simple air as you can see it's creating a very nice little air for our cloth all right but what we want is slowly the cloth should reveal the text so for that what we are going to do is kind of uh, see where the cloth is actually resting and then we are going to take that resting point and create our revelation or reveal or whatever it is. So I'm going to keep it about 100. Revelation. Wow. Let's hit set key. I'm going to set key for the zero magnitude. That means uh, there won't be any magnitude. That, or that means there won't be any speed at all. And then about 150. The magnitude will go up to like maybe 30 and right click set key. All right, so let's see. So the cloth falls and now you get something like this. Not exactly what we were expecting, but okay. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to create a magnitude of maybe like 100 and right click and set key. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is change the direction. As you can see, we have three direction X, Y, and Z. Right now, what we have is only for the Y. So I'm going to put on a value for the X as well, which is going to be one. And let's go back and let's see how this is reacting. All right, so our cloth falls and then after 100, it gets revealed. So this looks pretty good. If you want, you can do some variation with, I'm going to tilt the whole cloth to a bit more something like this maybe. Let's see. Right, so the cloth is a bit more flying out because of the gravity. So I'm going to keep it to something like this. And there you go. So obviously we have a bit more low subdivision going on. You can also choose, I guess, um, T-shirt. And in the dynamic properties, I'm going to make the whole stretch resistance to 10 and compression resistance to maybe like 2. And let's make it a bit more heavier. So I'm going to put a mass value of two here. All right. And there you go. So if you want more higher value on where the direction of the cloth should be, you can increase the same direction level on your air. You also get some uh, nice little preset for the wind, wake and fan as well. If you want to try out that kind of stuff as well. So there's no like perfect thing going on with this there's always going to be multiple types of variations how this will react so you just have to play around with this you can increase some more of magnitude if you want uh, maybe increase some bit more damp value and a bit more drag to maybe like 0.100 and let's decrease this as well okay so you can play around with your cloth to make sure how stretch stretchful it's going to be how much stretch it's going to have and how much bend resistance is going to carry with it so if you have three on your keyboard you'll get a pretty smooth mesh on a low subdivision mesh but yeah that should work all right so let's go to our camera and uh, once you're done with the whole animation if you want you are happy with the overall animation what you can do is simply now, we have one issue, if you'll notice, uh, let me just show you my IPR. And uh, the one thing you'll notice right now is that the collision here between the floor and the cloth is a bit too, how do I say this? The difference between the floor and the cloth is a bit too high. I mean, the cloth is not perfectly colliding here. So what I'm going to do here, the problem with this is because we have to look into the collision thickness here. So I'm going to go into my plane and in a rigid shape and I'm going to say show me the collision thickness here. And as you can see the collision thickness on this plane is a, is a bit too much. So what I'm going to do is reduce this. What you can do is you can manually reduce this or I'm just going to hit 0 0.010. I think that should be good enough for this. And I'm going to go back and hit play again. And now if we see the IPR here, all right, so we have solved a little bit of problem, but we still see a little bit of collision. So I'm going to hit maybe like 0 0.1. 
All right, so I'm gonna pause this. Let's see. All right, so we have some little bit of collision issue going on, and I think for the plain purpose, it is solved. I'm gonna go into my cloth here, and in the collision, I'm gonna see collision thickness and here we have another problem that means the overall thickness on the plane is a bit too much as well so let's reduce this to maybe something like 0 0.010 uh, so we can see the mesh is kind of in intersecting with the collision thickness so we have to be careful with that as well all right so there you go all right so now as you can see we have so almost like the 90 percent of the problem i'm going to reduce the collision thickness to even more all right so there you go so this is how you solve it so this looks pretty good to me and once you're happy with the overall result i'm going to turn this off now once you're happy with the result and if you want to cast this what you have to do is click on your plane i'm going to increase a bit more subdivision for the final thing here and I'm gonna simply hit on my click on my plane go to end catch create new catch and an object and I'm gonna say replace existing since I already have a simulation All right, so our catch has been done. I'm gonna um, get into my camera here and let's see. All right, so we have one small issue and I'm not gonna recast this, but I will tell you the solution for this. It's not that noticeable, but yeah, it's still there. So if you hit one on your keyboard, it will be solved. Apart from that, you can also use uh, Arnold Cataclan, which will simply smooth out the whole mesh. And if it still doesn't solve the problem, what you can do is go to Nucleus, increase the subset amount. This is basically sample of your FX in a way. So increasing the amount of subset will uh, kind of make your overall class simulation perfect, but it will take a bit more time. All right. So now, as you can see, we have nice little cloth reveal going on here. So this looks pretty good to me. And from here, you can get into the whole shading if you want. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole shading part. But yes, you have a velvet shader if you want to just speed up the process for the overall cloth here. You can create any type of cloth. Just apply some velvet shader and you can use something of maybe on your own. Try adding some flat colors. Uh, maybe like a pastel color combination. And you can use maybe a brush metal for the text as well. Alright, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next video.